Hello everyone, I'm Harry. Hello, I'm Maria. Welcome back to King Kunsan Classroom. Today we'd like to start a new topic about crop protection. In the following videos, we will focus on providing the information and some knowledge about how to protect your crops. Hope this information could help you to find out the problems and the solutions in your field. So Ria, in your opinion, what kind of damage is the most serious to the crops? I think it's the damage caused by the insect pest. Why? Because the insect pest have a direct impact on agricultural food production by chewing the leaves of crops, sucking out plant juices, boring with the roots, stems, leaves or fruits, and spreading plant pathogens. And insects can attack our crops at any time from the seeds to the harvest. Some kinds of them lack series. The greens still need the protection away from insect pests even after harvest. Meanwhile, insects have the huge numbers of species. Pest control is complicated work. Yes, it's really a big trouble for crops and agricultural food production. So how about the losses caused by insect pests? According to FAO report published on June 2nd, 2021, at least 40% of worse agricultural crops are lost to insect pests each year and the invasive insect pest cost the countries at least 70 billion US dollars annually. It's a big challenge that the damage from plant pests leaves millions of people without enough food to eat. As I know, there are many kinds of insect pests, such as aphids, thrips, white flies, army worm, uh, diamondback, moths, leaf miner, mites, so and so on. So today, what are we going to talk about? Today, we'd like to introduce an important kind of insects, Lepidoptera pests. Okay, Lepidoptera pests are one of the most widely spread and widely recognizable insect orders in the world. Yes, they are the second order with the most species with the insect class. Its scientific name refers to the skills of its wings and commonly known as butterflies and moths. More than 200,000 species worldwide and more than 8,000 species in China. Lepidopteran pests undergo complete metamorphosis with four stages, egg, larvae, pupa, and adult. Most of the adults with siphoning sucking mouse parts are adapted to suck the nectar. For this reason, many species fulfill the rule of plant pollinators and are beneficial for crops. Yes, but they are now known as the caterpillars are considered very problematic to vegetation in agriculture. The larvae with chewing mouse parts to feed on plant leaves, flowers, fruits, stems, and even roots. Some species are capable to generate new kernels, mining the surface they feed on. They can cause serious damage, even best the plants. The common Lepidoptera flower includes diamond back moss on cabbage, pot borer on bean, shoot and fruit borers on eggplant, for armyworm on maize, tuta obstruta on tomato, leaf roller on rice, cut worm on brassicas, potato tube moss or potato, bull worm on cotton, and so on. Leaf damage substantially reduces the photosynthetic ability of the plant and thus the carbohydrate production. It severely affects the plant health and the fruit production. Further, defoliation causes the indirect damage from sunburn. Uh, fruit feeding causes direct injury to the crop, damaged leaves and uh, vulnerable to pathogens. Therefore, the damage of uh, Lepidopteran larvae to crops is destructive. Why Lepidoptera pests are difficult to control? First, most Lepidoptera pests may be active almost all year round, particularly in warm climates, and have many overlapping generations, such as all life stages are present at any given time. For example, cabbage worm reproduces 11 to 12 generations per year and beet army worm reproduces 6 to 8 generations per year. Therefore, they are very difficult to control. Second, the small body size is very easy to hide and not easy to clean. Third, the suitable climates make the pest much dry and break out rapidly. While well, this time is growing season of crops, which can set for large 
feeding demand of caterpillars. Birds, the pests are known for having developed resistance to several chemical groups of insecticides, make its control difficult. Manage and reduce alternative hosts in the production area to ensure it's free of all pests and diseases. Remove and destroy heavily infested uh, sources to avoid the further infestation. Burn out heavily damaged leaves or stems if necessary. This is particularly important for leaf mining and wood boring species. Practice good crop hygiene to avoid contamination between greenhouses or production sites. Predators and parasitoids are commercially available for use against caterpillars as biological control agents. If used these uh, biological control agents, it is recommended to seek advice from the supplier on best use to optimize application including pesticide applications and climate conditions. It is recommended to apply biological control agents before pest pressure occurs. Another solution is Bacillus thuringiensis products. Bacillus thuringiensis is also known as Bt. Is a bacteria that is very effective against caterpillars. Bt has virtually no negative effect on predators and is therefore safe to use while continuing to apply predators. It is a good choice to apply Bt products when caterpillar pressure is low but likely to increase. Biological control is encouraged when environmental conditions are suitable. However, when conditions are not suitable but caterpillar pressures are very high, uh, chemical control is necessary. In fact, there are many pesticides that has been used to manage caterpillars in agriculture, but due to high resistance of uh, pesticides, choose the suitable products and use the right application methods are very important. Based on sufficient field trial data, there are several pesticides could get very good efficacy on caterpillar's control. They are spinotoram, uh, chlorintranilipril, imamectin benzoate, indoxacarb, lufaneuron, cypromycerin, lambda cyhalothrin, acetamiprid, and imidacloprid. For some certain crops, we can also use chlorpyrifos, uh, dematoate, profenophos, and others. When applying pesticides, application timing is very important. Most caterpillars often have five instars mounting between each instar and increasing in size. Before three instar, uh, single products can be used. After three instars, mixture products are recommended. So for the better results, it is recommended to apply pesticide at two to four instar stages of caterpillars. Meanwhile, we also shall consider the habits of caterpillars. Most caterpillars feed on plants above ground, while some feed on plants below ground or even feed on aquatic plants underwater. Most species remain on plants day and night, while some mainly feed at night and hide during the day. Also, most species feed on leaf surface, while some tunnel into the leaves, mining under the stems or boring into the fruits. Knowing this information will help us to choose the right products such as the contact insecticides or the systemic insecticides and applying at the right time such as in the morning or in the evening. To reduce the resistance, it is also recommended to rotate pesticide between the different mode of action groups. All right, today we briefly introduced the conventional methods of controlling Lepidopteran pests. However, considering different living habits different crops and different uh, pesticide resistance, the methods of controlling different Lepidopteran pests are also different. Uh, in the following videos, we will select several typical Lepidopteran pests and focus on the control points against them. If you want to know how to control a certain Lepidopteran pest, you are also welcome to leave us a message at the bottom of the screen, and King Kun-san will try to provide you with more information regarding to pest control. Thanks for watching. King Kun-san, focus, focus on, on your, your harvest. harvest.